hello, hello, hello everyone, Cynthia Toet, your gypsy medicine woman here to do a reading on grieving because I have a friend out there that just lost their father and they're doing some grieving and I want to see what the cards will tell us to help us we get through the grieving process when we actually lose somebody that's so close to us and unexpectedly which many of us are going through well, let's see well it says that I can be able to tell you what to do about it with my eyes closed <laughs> But I want to, I'm asking the cards to tell us, not for me just to tell you. So maybe the cards are going, okay, we're going to, we're going to deal with this with our eyes closed for just a moment. So what is it? What is it? The cards want to help me share the story out to the collective. How we can handle our grieving is to offer the cup of love, to have the cup a love knowing that when maybe when someone else is grieving we're to offer the cup of love back to them maybe when we are grieving we have to remember to receive the cup of love to allow it to be like a magical flow don't 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 um like hold on to it so tight as if it is that that's the end this this is it the, the grieving is just like we're going to, to allow the grief to go through us and going to let it be like a magical flow. Allow the grief to go through in a loving way. So, see, she's like creating magic and he's got the bubbles. So let the, let the grief turn into this like unconditional loving way. And try to be careful of my words because, you know, people are grieving. It's real stuff. And you want to make sure you're saying the right things to the right people for their, them to handle it just right. Knowing that, you know, when we grieve from a loss of someone, that that person wants us to live our lives. They want us to keep crafting our crafts. They want us to keep working the way that we do our things. But they want us to do it in this magical way to free them to let them be to because they don't want to hold you i don't know if i can actually do this right <laughs> that's what the universe saying i can i can okay. it doesn't want you to hold on to the one that has gone as if it was wrong or it shouldn't have happened or because everything is divinely timed. Everything's in the perfect order. Everything happens right on time, right on purpose, no matter what we want to think. <laughs> there is some kind of divineness there. I believe the day I die, wherever that is, that's exactly when I'm supposed to pass. No sooner, no later. It's exactly when I'm supposed to. It's exactly when I'm supposed to. <laughs> when it's all over, it's over. <laughs> But when it's not, that means we can still, like in this one, she's going, well, not, that's not over for me. I still got a life. I'm going to grab my broom and I'm going to keep going towards the light. Keep going towards that better story. Keep going towards living your life in a magical way with this new journey, with a new map laid out. A map of not i um, holding on to life so tight like this is the only way and this is the this is the way it is and this only way know that you can work things in this new magical way this new different way you can add different potions you can add different mixes you can add different storylines into the mix that's the new way the new way is adding a a, a new storyline into the mix that the storyline comes out in this um So it feels bright, so it feels sunny, so it feels shiny. If, if, um, you know, I lost a lot of people <laughs> last 
not too long ago and a lot of animals all at the same time and and if i were to sink into the grieving i don't i probably wouldn't be well today and even going through a divorce which causes grieving too but it's still telling us to look at the brighter side to look at life to live life as you know death is part of life so when one passes over and we learn how you know like myself i've learned how if i want to talk to my mom all i do is ask her questions right here and right now and i get instant answers and that's what she wants me to trust in she wants me to trust that um she's always here she's always got my back no matter what yeah i may not ever you know i, I won't ever see her physically again not the way i know to see it but i can always call upon her to be here with me at all times to feel the light to see the light because she wants me to live that happy dream she wants me to live my life as joyful and gleeful and happy and and bright and i believe everyone that's passed on they want us the ones that are still left living to continue on living our life they want us to live our lives they don't want us to be grieving over them being gone or lost or not here anymore because their time is up and if we were never taught to grieve so hard in our lifetime, would it be a little differently? I'm not saying that it's wrong to grieve. I'm just saying if we grieve to, we need to make sure it doesn't take over our, our life. It's okay to allow it to process through it. But when we trust that, you know, death is a part of life. And so that means death, to me, is alive still because it's a part of life. So I don't know if I'll ever post this video because of me saying the things I do. Because, you know, I'm not trying to trick the system. I'm trying to get us well in the system. I'm trying to get us past that emotional feels, those feels that take us under. The fields that are going to rob us, the ones that are going to take our sunshine away. We don't want our sun to leave. We want our sun to shine. And how can we s still allow our sun to shine and be okay when one leaves us and we'll never see them again? It won't ever be the same. Our life changes from there. What is it we, we can do? What is it we can say? What is it we can um, reprogram our minds, our body, our soul? So, it's more accepting of the process instead of restraint or, or restricting. Yes, how can we get it to not be so restricting? <laughs> how can we get it to be more at ease as if it is part of the process? How can we accept it without feeling so overwhelmed? It, it is managing our thought process. It is saying what it is that we say in our heads <clears throat> to how our body is going to feel. It is how we take the thoughts in to what's going to happen next or what, how it's going to come about. It is knowing we have a choice to make a new direction, to take a new path. We are the chariot. We, we get to choose which path we want to go. Do we want to go down this one that I have to grieve for the next two or three or four or five years, maybe ten years because, you know, I lost a loved one? Can I choose to be okay with the loss? As my body just like goes, what are you trying to try to try to tell me? You're trying to tell me to be okay with this? It's like, yeah, expand past the thought that it is wrong or is it hurtful or painful. Go into the process that, you know, we're still connected with that soul. Because the soul doesn't die, it's the body that dies. The soul doesn't give out on us, it's the body that gives out on us.
Let's see. Let's see. She's in the thoughts to knowing that the soul never left. You know, it is about the heartbreak. What do we want to do with the heartbreak? We want to be okay with it. We want to mend it. We want to live our lives in joy. We want to lay this heartache down to rest so we can go ahead and abundantly live the life that we're here to live. So we can love. So we can share our love. So we can be in love. So we can be in love with life. So we can be with, in love with ourselves. So we can be in love with someone else. That's why we want to take the broken heart and mend it. That's why we want to readjust our story. The one that says that you have to keep grieving. It's a loss. It's a process. Yeah, it is a loss. It is a process. And there are certain things you would go through. But how long you stay in that? is up to each and every one of us through how we choose to judge the situation. We can make it be musical and magical or tough. Musical or magical? My mama told me when she passed away that she wanted me to bring the music into my day. <laughs> she wanted me to still live a magical way. She said, don't buy into the grieving process, Cynthia. So I never really did. I nurtured myself instead. As we can all do, we can nurture ourselves through the process. We are so thankful and grateful for the life they had. We are so thankful and grateful that they were here with us and we got to share that life with them. We're so grateful and thankful for everything that we've learned through them and what we still have to learn from them because they've taught us how to give this gift this amazing loving gift in this other way to the younger generation so they can see that it doesn't have to be the way we've been taught. We don't have to live in those lower vibrational fields. We can move past them. We can grow from them. We can grow past those tower moments, those ones that tear us down and rob us from our uh, higher vibrational self. So we can abundantly love who we are, even if we are alone by ourselves on a little island, checking out the rest of the world. We can be in bliss knowing that we took the time out to heal ourselves. We took the time out to be okay. We took the time out to honor and respect the ones that have passed on. We took the time out. And we bless their lives. We thank them for being here. We thank them for their lives. We thank them for their lessons that they've taught us in our lifetime. We thank them for showing us how to work together as a team. And how it's not always one way or the other. Sometimes we have to look at other people's ideas or ways. We thank them for that lesson that they've shown that they've showed us. So we didn't have to constantly live in this way that we feel like we're 
under attack and unbattle and just like we have to constantly defend ourselves. I smiled because I looked at that card in the middle of the deck and I put it in and I shuffled and it is the card that fell out. So <laughs> yeah, there's no trick in the cards. Whatever needs, whatever story needs to come out, that is the card that is going to flip out. <laughs> says we don't have to hang around in this uh, this like I got to hang around in this field we get to hang around in this field says we get to get out of that field we get to get into this field we get to feel it away so back here we don't we don't have to hang around we don't have to hang around in this lower vibrational feeling we get to continue on our lives with joy, with happiness, with glee. Because we flipped our story around at what we felt like we lost. And actually, we never lost anything we gained. <clears throat> What did we gain? We gained learning how to leave some of our dragons behind. Some of those ways that weren't serving us. We learned how to leave that dragon within behind because we realized it wasn't worth holding on to. We realize that we get to rewrite our story. We get to do it in this crafty way. We get to use our artwork. We get to do it this magical way. It doesn't have to be that old way that we've been fed, that old story that we've been fed. We get to rewrite our story our way. So we get to go out there and share it to the world, to the younger generation and the older generation, whoever hasn't learned how to live this better life so we can be in joy so we can be in happiness so we can be in this together in this like celebrating way we're celebrating what we're celebrating life we're celebrating happiness we're celebrating the journey the process we're celebrating that we've been given life it's life isn't taken from us life is um, like I said death is part of life so it is above it is below we stay in a balance this harmony this universal balance by readjusting our story so we're not staying in that lower vibrational story too long. We're flipping it and switching around to get into that higher vibr vibrational way. We've asked the stars for uh, guidance and support and they bring them to us. <laughs> But the star is always asking to, no matter what is seen in the stars, to make sure that you're learning the magic. Even though we can see the uh, chaos that comes, see it with clarity. Even though it may feel like it's like a tornado, it wants us to see it with love. See it as a gift being offered. This is Cynthia Toet giving your reading on how do we flip our story around to better when we're grieving over a lost one. Till next time, have a beautiful day.